You're watching Telecom TV from TIP Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is Steve Helvey, VP of Channel at OCP, the Open Compute Project. Steve, good to talk to you on Telecom TV. Tell me more about the OCP. The Open Compute Project, or OCP, is a, um, it's a foundation of over 200 companies, started by Facebook back in 2011, with the idea of open sourcing hardware designs. And open source has been around for many, many years in, in software, but no one had really tried this approach in, in hardware. Uh, so from that, um, they've now opened up all their designs across, say, compute, storage, networking, rack and power, etc. So of the 200 companies, we have large hyperscalers, such as Facebook and Microsoft, uh, Google, Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, participating. Uh, we also have large enterprises such as Booking.com and of course telcos, um, AT&T and KPN as an example. And across the 200 companies we have 6,000 engineers working on each one of these projects solving common problems across the data center. So what are the synergies between the OCP and the work of TIP? Yeah, we've, we have um, in the past, uh, we've, we've always had a really close working relationship with TIP. In the last year, it's really come to fruition. There's really three key areas where we are overlapping or working very tightly with TIP. One is, of course, open networking. It is uh, an extremely fast-growing area for, for us as well as TIP, and we see that across the telcos and open hardware designs uh, in the switches and the, the cell site gateway routers. Um, the other area is in open edge. Um, so open edge is, is, could be defined in, in, many, in many ways, um, but uh, there are certain members and mutual members that have defined, say, an open edge server. Uh, Nokia has written a specification for a server uh, that fits in a, a much more condensed form factor for the edge. And then we have additional hardware suppliers coming online for that solution, such as WeWin and Asus. Uh, and then the third piece is around CORD, the central office. Uh, and we have really tight integration with uh, the Open Networking Foundation as well as TIP to produce um, uh, really a central office offering uh, that drives efficiency as well as scalability. And how have you been collaborating with Edge Core? The uh, disaggregated cell site gateway router, it's really the very first uh, solution that's come through both TIP and OCP. And so you have one specification that's, that's been uh, approved by both organizations and we really see this as a turning point in the way that we can work together with TIP going forward where you have a common specification that can be used across multiple organizations, multiple carriers being it carrier driven and then even transferring even into other organizations um, across the enterprise as well. So we're, we're pretty excited about that and I know George at EdgeCore will be on a little bit later to, to share some of his thoughts around how they're working with both organizations. Why should CSPs and telcos become involved in OCP? There are a couple reasons that people become involved in open compute. The best example is, is to be able to solve a common problem. Um, we see this happening a lot now in the accelerator or the GPU space, where you have problems out there that multiple companies face that are common. And in an open source environment, it really is the best way to solve a problem quickly. So in the telco world, there are many, many obstacles as things move toward 5G, as software becomes um, uh, very predominant in eating the hardware. Um, and then you also see all of the edge applications. So there's a lot of common problems, and I think it makes sense to join these type of organizations, every from TIP to OCP to ONF, to work with like minds to get faster resolutions to these problems. And then also on the supplier side, you can cut your time to market and get access to new markets working within an open community. So how can a telco get involved? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple ways. Of course, you can become a member and, and participate in, in a couple of the projects. There, there are a few projects that are more relevant to, to telco. It could be perhaps the actual telco project where we have a, a sub-project for Open Edge, which is all the work that's happening on the Edge project. Uh, we also have um, one of the more interesting projects that's taking place now is the advanced cooling uh, project. It has to do with Emergent. As, as Racks get more dense, heat up, takes more power. So there's a lot of activity happening within the cooling space. Um, and then lastly, uh, one of the areas which we're working on is around circular economy. And this is a big deal in Europe. And so circular economy, of course, is maybe producing things without waste, all right, and using things without waste. But it takes it a step further. And the way that we're viewing it is we're actually having end customers work with manufacturers 
to begin with the end in mind and saying, if you're going to manufacture this product, let's think about end of life and how we can reuse this product. And so this is another good example of a common problem that we're tackling at a circular economy phase. And it's big in Europe because Europe is coming up and they're the leader with these efficiency standards and the eco regulations and the decarbonization of the data center. So how would I get involved? Um, you would go online to opencompute.org, search the membership options. You can join a mailing list. We have, again, the projects are, are, are quite um, uh, self-explanatory. You can join the mailing list, listen in on the calls. Everything we do is open, everything is recorded, so you can consume as much or as little as you would like. But we welcome all the carriers to participate. Steve, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.